Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. We are driving and crashing into things. <laughs> we are driving to a new outpost for iron as you can see. We've got loads of it backed up on the track here. And I am really struggling uh, to drive this car while talking. So I just want to quickly show you that I sorted out the iron situation we had in the last episode. And it's all the way over here. Now this might attract the attention of some of these bases over here. That looks very likely. That really does. So I'm going to set up some laser turrets around here to defend this thing. That would be a good idea. And then we're going to head back. We're going to head back to the base. We're going to make ourselves that power armor mark two. And then we're going to destroy some alien bases. We're going to absolutely power through them. And with our new power armor, it should be even easier than before. So um, I just want to plaster down a load of these lasers right here on the corner. In fact, I probably want to put another one just over there as well, maybe. Or well, there, that seems to do the job and now this thing is going to be sort of defended probably not good enough uh, they might get destroyed but it is some form of defense just in case the worst happens um, so by the way doing this used up the last of my belts I really didn't want to do another mining patch using belts but the thing is and uh, it actually looks like we've got uh, too many mining drills going here so we'll reduce that but yeah the thing is I'm not ready to do the trains just yet so uh, because of that we're using the belt for this one and then after we've destroyed some alien bases, very likely we're going to move on to doing trains, which uh, I've got a lot to learn about, and I really don't uh, understand too much about how they work, so it should be pretty fun to do. But anyway, let's head back over to base, and let's get geared up to fight these aliens. This is quite literally unbelievable. I decided to go all out. We made another one of these reactors. We made loads of these over here. And this has been really cool to make, actually, because I've got loads of this stuff in reserve. And then you just grab it out of there, chuck it into these machines over here, and you can make it in no time. But before, what we had was one laser, two batteries, one of these, and I think three of these shields. And so now we've got a crazy amount of shields. Or maybe it's five. But we've definitely gone over double. And also these lasers, they do shoot at the bad guys. But there's so much going on at the screen, it's kind of hard to see. But when I had uh, a couple of incidences where it was me versus just a few of them, then it was kind of uh, easy to see them shoot. So, where do we want to go? We don't want to go into the trees, that's for sure. I haven't really thought about this too much. But I'm probably going to wander out towards an area um, where there isn't trees, because that always makes fighting a little bit easier. And it looks like we might be able to get around the back of this. So, uh, we're going to do this... All together on camera and do some destroying of the bad guys and it's been a while since I did this so my technique might be a little bit rusty uh, but the main thing to do now is for me to power in there and especially with our new armor I'm going to be much stronger so it's really about spamming down lasers and you know what I don't have enough of them so let me go and pick up a few more Nighttime is always a bad time to record, but it's turning to day, and I can see a big nest down here next to a big old coal patch so that's probably where we're going to go to first and uh, what we want to do is kind of assess the distance that we are from the place and create a kind of backup area of lasers. So I think we can go a couple more of these further forward and using the hotkeys, I did get a good hang of this actually, starting to use these quite frequently. We're going to uh, put down some lasers back there and I think that's going to be a nice distance to charge on in. So what we're going to do is place down these like so, they're going to come for us and then that wasn't me switching to the lasers very well. Let's back these up with a few more. And then we're just going to charge in there. So we're going to place down a whole bunch here. Place down a whole bunch there. And if I can use my hotkeys quick enough, we want to place these and get right in there. And look at this. I'm hardly taking any damage at all. And then just spam down lasers like that. And before you know it, this fight is going to be over. And I just need to get my hotkeys going a little quicker. So our turrets and our power supply does take damage doing this. But the trick is just to keep on keeping on and we lost one because I'm chatting away here so let's get a nice uh, backup of batteries here it looks like we're going to need them and I said batteries and I meant lasers and then we just continue charging forward into the middle of the base and uh, trying to do as much damage as we can here right so we are right into the middle at the moment and just as many lasers as we can and then move on keep moving forward because those things are going to get hurt Okay, and they are actually getting destroyed because we are going in way too fast. So let's get a real large amount in the middle here. And then move to the outskirts to take out these worms. And I can't switch between my keys quick enough. But this new armor is ridiculous. We are just so overpowered right here. Let's uh, continue moving up and through. And I'm really struggling to do the hotkeys. Okay, and something's not connected. There we go. Okay, so we have lost quite a few turrets. That wasn't too clean an attempt, but sometimes it's just like that. And uh, there you go. So we lost a few, 
And if I wasn't recording, I'll assure you that I would have done that a little bit cleaner. So now we've got loads of turrets placed down absolutely everywhere, but we've destroyed a massive base in no time at all. So let's have a look at how many turrets we've got in reserve. Not too many, just another 50. So now's the time for me to repair it all and then move back. But I also need to make a decision about what it is uh, we're actually going to attack around here. You see there's a big nest there. There's some copper and iron, and I kind of feel like iron needs to be secured more than anything else at the moment. So uh, I'm really not sure. We'll probably move our way upwards. But here's another thing. I really did spam down the turrets there, and it was a big base we were recording. Uh, but sometimes it is a little better to not use too many each time you spam them down and just move in uh, a little steadier. So we kind of jumped right in, placed down a load. And then we moved all the way up again, placed down a load. Sometimes it's better to use, you know, let's say a quarter of the amount and just go every so often, just in smaller increments, if that makes sense. Anyway, we're going to head upwards next. So uh, I'm going to repair all of these turrets. We're going to pick them up and then we're going to do some more demolition of these bases. Because that's what it is. It's a demolition. We're just powering in there. Our armor is really, really good. You know, they can barely hurt us and we can just place down as many of these as we want. But next time, I'm hoping I can actually do the strategy that I just talked about and that we can have a cleaner attack on this base. Okay, revision of the plan. If I can just press 1 and 2 between pressing W, A, S and D, then we can easily uh, move these down. However, that's a little easier said than done. So let's put a smaller group here, move forward a couple of paces and just keep going forward like this for now. I know we're going to get close to the base soon. There it is. So let's keep just doing it like that, a few at a time. Each time we put one of these down, we're going to put down some lasers as well. And now I think we need a big batch of them because I heard some get destroyed. Let's go right in the middle here, put down some like that. Edge over to this side. And I don't think I did so well, actually. I would have liked to have done a little bit better there. It's just the WASD and the 1 and the 2. I know they're close together, but it's always kind of awkward to move your hand around like that. And uh, are you going to take out that guy? No, he's dead. He's dead. And I think we did it. And there we go. We very calmly moved through a base there and took it out. And that could have probably been a little bit more efficient. And I think we only lost one of these guys, which is okay. Somewhere back here. I think we might be able to see the uh, ghost of this guy. Where's Q? There it is. Yeah, just one guy there, so not so bad that time, but tons of repairs to do, and maybe it could have been a little bit better. But that is the technique that I wanted to show you, because what I want to do now is go around and blast out a load more of these bases. And by the way, when I come back and sort of clear up after myself, I like to replace all of these with uh, big electric poles as well. That just makes life easier, because uh, you tend to use a heck of a lot of these things. And if we just look over here, you can see where I've made a grid. So what are we going to target right now? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm really not. Probably probably a lot of this stuff. I don't know. I'll do it and then I'll come back later and I'll show you the progress that's been made. So a few more bases have been taken out. And once again, the strategy has been revised. Substations. Yes, they make things so much easier. We have them in quantities now. And uh, this is just getting easier. It's getting easier. But also because of this thing right here. Oh, look at that. You can see it all from right there. I decided to remove our uh, little laser friends that we had. Personal laser defense. And uh, replace it with this thing right here. This actually takes up a little more space than I realized. So I threw in some solar panels just to use up the leftover space. They're really not making a difference. But the thing is, this thing increases our speed by around 30%. Can I show you that um, in comparison? So yeah, look at that. A little bit sluggish. With this thing on, we go a lot faster. And it's probably possible that you can have multiple ones of these, which might be useful uh, for when working on the base. So we can have certain things for combat and certain things for working in our base, which is cool. But anyway, I want to show you this new strategy in action. Uh, we're not going to go over there to the left. That actually doesn't appear. No, that's that one right there, isn't it? Okay. Well, I wasn't going to go there, but that's actually really close. Let's just take out a few bases. I'm thinking this big one over there, um, that one to the right of us, and then there was a really big base down here somewhere. Or maybe not that much bigger. I think it was this one. But one of them that I wanted to take out on camera as well, just because it was big. But anyway, let's do this once again. Same strategy as ever. We're now a little bit faster. We have substations as well. So let's just move in like this. And that was the wrong button straight away. Not good. And there we go. There they come. So now loads of lasers everywhere. Kill them. Kill, kill, kill. And it looks like we actually need some more. So let's get right in there. And that wasn't good. We lost one. Still getting used to doing it like this. And again, just spam down the lasers everywhere and move forward right into the heart of their base. And uh, that was absolutely crazy and messy. And there are loads of worms over there, so we need a lot of lasers. 
Uh, but once again, they're all destroyed, and I think we lost one in total, which isn't bad at all. That only took a few seconds to do. Uh, we still have quite a few lasers left over, so why don't we... If you look at this right here, we can kind of see the edges of all these other ones around us. Um, I want to go back over there and take out that one. However, there's a big one up in this corner, so maybe we'll clear up a few of these. And clearing them up is pretty easy. Move around like this, repair the used ones, or the ones that were damaged even. And I just want to pick up a few more because we are going into a big area and we do need a few of these. In fact, at the moment, the thing that takes the longest amount of time is just picking up all of the lasers once you've placed them down because they only take a few shots and get a few kills each. Uh, but you do need them in quantities to survive. And, oh yeah, up there's where I wanted to go because there's a massive iron patch. So we will go back there. I also want to put down a radar as well. There are so many things that I want to do that I just keep forgetting about. Anyway, here we go. I know this is not the optimal placement, and wow, pressing the wrong keys, not good. And this is terrible placement of lasers, but we're just going to have all the flexibility in the world, really. So let's get right into it. And now the game lags. It does that every so often because of the autosave feature. And do you know what? I don't think I've got enough lasers to get through this base. You really do have to get right in there and spam these things down. And I think we just lost one, and I've kind of pinned myself in there a little bit. But once we do start destroying these things, we're going to... Uh, remove their potential to spawn and yeah we've lost three or four this is really messy when I do this on camera it is just a little bit much and maybe I was zoomed out a bit too much there as well I do not remember what the next step was but I have destroyed a few more alien bases here are our alien artifacts and now we're going to move on to something else we're going to do the trains check it out I've already set up something here it is <laughs> Um, there is a lot to talk about with these trains, and I just watched a tutorial that was absolutely brilliant. It was by Mangled Pork Gaming. There's going to be a link to this video down there in the description box. If you want to learn how all this train system stuff works, watch that video. It's great, it's precise, to the point, and uh, you will learn stuff in no time. So I know that a lot of you watching this video will probably want to learn, and I don't really want to explain everything because he did, did such a good job. I just feel like it would be better for you to go and watch that video. There are a lot of details, things to do with how these trains work. And what I'd like to do is just jump to the next stage now that I've learned the very basics. So what we've got right here is a single train setup with a single line. So we're not going to have multiple trains, we're just going to have one. And this station right here is probably going to be temporary. So we've got some tracks down on the ground. Uh, these are a little finicky the way they connect together. If I build any tracks, I'll show you that later on in the series. And uh, we've got our first train stop over here. This thing has a name. It's called Iron Drop-Off. We have another one called Iron Northeast. That is where we were destroying all of those bases. So we have a little bit of coal over here to uh, supply the train. And then what we have right here is something to unload all of the iron that's going to come back across. Now, this thing that I've done right here... Um, might be a little bit unusual, but here's the thing. I was thinking about our buffer system that we have all the way down the bottom. If you remember, we had like a, an inserter on either side of a chest and then a belt going around. Well, I was thinking, what was stopping us from having multiple chests like this and then having the belt here and the belt here? Well, at the time, I think it was power consumption, but that's really not a problem. And this makes a massive um, amount of inventory space between each belt which I thought was a cool thing but now that we're going to be using the trains the unloading system is going to be very different and so I thought like this we're going to create a backup and yes this is going to use a lot of inserters and I just said backup what I actually mean is a buffer so let's say that this thing is bringing over way more iron that we can use and it's just going to get filled up in these chests slowly but obviously every bit of iron that comes through goes through a lot more inserters so it makes it kind of more expensive in terms of power Anyway, then down the bottom, what's going to happen is this right here. And uh, I did that slightly wrong. We want one more on that side. And then this way, we're going to equally load the balance on either side. So hopefully, uh, the way it gets loaded means that both of these will be full. Um, but then this thing can come around here. And I've made tons of these belts, by the way. And then it can go down there, and we'll sort out where it goes in a bit. But it means more iron coming into the system. So I haven't ridden this train yet. Hopefully, I can do it. Um, but we might be able to automate it because we have on our train schedule over here, we have the iron drop-off point. It's going to come over here for 30 seconds and it's go to, going to go to the iron northeast site and it's going to stay there for 30 seconds as well. So when we press enter, we're going to run the train. However, if I press enter to hop inside this thing, I can actually click on it and automate this, which is cool. So is it going to do its thing? Go to the station. Didn't I just tell it to start? Maybe it waits here for 30 seconds first, which is not what we want. And clicking go to the station didn't help. And pressing the arrow keys isn't helping. 
Am I being silly? Stop the train, now we can move it manually. That's how we're going to work this thing for now. Um, so we've got a loop section right here, we've got a loop at either end. And then we're going to go all the way across here, this is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Trains! When they were in the previous... Uh, bleh, that was a terrible sentence. When they were in the game when I previously played it, I kind of ignored them. I didn't really see the point of them and didn't feel especially interested in them. And now I actually see that they're going to be awesome for getting us to the next level. And we actually wanted to stop there. And I think it might be a little bit tricky to get our stop dead on. So let's say we select uh, this one and go, go to the station. Is it going to do that? No. Let's get out of the train. Can we do this? Go to the station? No. So I'm having some difficulties controlling my train, which is annoying because I wanted to stop it over here and build the loading system. So once again, we're going to have a load of inserters pointing into it, some chests to build a buffer. And over here, we're going to set up a massive mining facility to take out as much of this as we can, as fast as we can. And if you have a look at the minimap here, we're kind of surrounded. We've got guys over here and guys over there. Probably not too surrounded, but the pollution is going to spread out and it's definitely going to attract a lot of these guys. So I'm kind of anticipating a siege happening around here. So to prepare for this siege, we are going to go overboard with the lasers like this. Although it might not be overboard because we might get completely bombarded. But I'm going to hang around here and see what happens. Uh, but that will do for now. I'll set up the rest in a moment. What I'd like to do is get this uh, train to stop at the station, but I really just don't understand um, what it is it needs to do. Maybe if we select that one and click run the train. Okay, so now it's probably going to go... Yep, it's going to go to its first destination. It's going all the way down there. Let's see if we can follow it on the mini-map. Yes, we can. Look at that. Where is it? <laughs> it's gone. I thought I saw it on the tracks. Maybe it's already all, all the way over here. I really thought I saw it as... Uh... Oh, actually, it's probably only in this range here that we're going to be able to see it. Anyway, let's wait for it to come back over. And here it is, it has returned, and now what we want to do is uh, stop the train because we want it to be stationed right here. This means we can line up uh, these guys. So we're going to be loading. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six. That kind of looks like where the edge of that is, doesn't it? Actually, if we look at that, we can see one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six. And I'm pretty sure earlier it was seven in a row. So maybe they just sort of look different when they're on their sides. I have to go back and uh, change that. But then I do believe there is a gap or several gaps between two, three, four, five. Is that right? Wasn't it six up the top? It was. Uh, okay, yes, five. <laughs> and uh, then there's a gap of two right here, which means we can put in a substation. So we're actually going to put that. Uh, it's kind of in the way of the track, so we'll just put it. And I'm in the way as well. There should do. Okay, I can move things around if it turns out to be um, a little bit of a problem. And obviously this thing isn't connected up. Let's just uh, find a spot like that. And uh, this is where we're going to load things up. So we're going to have some chests like so. Probably not as many. And then from these chests we'll have this you know, running alongside it. And have another row of inserters. Which means I've got to move this back by one. Well done. <laughs> Let's uh, just do this quickly so you can see the full setup. It's probably really obvious what I'm doing. And this is also quite standard, so for those of you that have watched other Factorio videos, uh, this will be no surprise. There you go, so that's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Let's remove that one there. And this is the way it's going to be loaded. So I think we've kind of covered most of the stuff. Again, go and watch that tutorial video if you're interested in how all of this stuff works. It covers it so well, it just really felt um, silly to kind of go everything over everything again because I am uh, not as experienced with this game and will probably miss a few things as well. So um, I'll set up the defensive measures. We will get this train going. I'll go back to the other base, check on these things. And yeah, I'll just get everything ready and then we'll be able to see if this is going to work. I think it is. And it's going to be a lot of fun as well. Okay, so down here we have six of them in a row. And if you look here, the way it lines up, these ones are the ones pointing in. This one on the edge is kind of pointing in as well, which is interesting. I don't know how many you can actually have. Let's uh, put down one more. So maybe that is it. And I imagine on this side we'll be able to place one as well. And it connects to the middle. So it's actually seven across that you can do. I'm not sure if we want that many, uh, but it is good to know. Here's an interesting thought. What is the unloading speed of this right here? You can see we've got uh, seven of them. No, six in a row. And let's place that down. And it looks like... It looks like five is the speed. Maybe I needed a bit more of a buffer for that to work properly. Let's remove all of it. No, it's five. Okay, so we should probably make this thing five across then. Oh my god, look at this. It is actually working. Oh, that is amazing. Brilliant. I can't believe, I can't believe it. Obviously, it was going to you know, be good, but that, that's just amazing. That has sorted out 
Our iron situation here with the furnaces, at least temporarily, and uh, there's definitely some tweaking that needs to be done here because you can see these things have been unloaded very quickly. So we're going to change the times and then we're going to head over to the other base. And here we are. This is really cool. I am anticipating uh, us... Oh, it's all backed up. That's interesting. It was okay a moment ago. I'm going to assume that maybe these chests were full up. Maybe not. That's interesting. Uh, but if we have a look at the pollution, it's not going to be long now before we start getting attacked. So I'm going to be manning this outpost, making sure that it is going to be secure. And I'm going to let you know how everything goes in the next episode, because that's all we've got time for this one. And isn't it awesome? This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.